It's great. My, I have a little baby. He's it's a toddler now. He's 16 months. He's starting to walk. 16 months? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. He came home from the hospital in my Audi RS2, which was cute. And he's the only baby in American history ever to have done that. Yep. I assume. This, this and, side of the ocean, at least. Yep. Right. And, uh, and so he's great. It's been an interesting experience. And everything is a little bit different than it than it has been. It there we go. There he is. <laughs> that was my home day. There was a lot of convincing required to uh, to allow the RS2 to be the, the car, but he did great and he killed like, it. And he's happy now. So there's no latch awesome. system in that RS2. No, no. In fact, I don't know that he ever rode in it again. It's actually really, really? small. Yeah, okay. it's really it's tight in there, and so now he's in a much bigger car seat now, and so you can't. It's not like realistic to get it in there anymore, right? Uh, which has become kind of annoying. But uh, isn't it weird <laughs> how car seats change your change your perspective on things? <laughs> like, yeah, car seats and the whole thing. And I'm so jealous of my friends whose kids are like in boosters or out of boosters, like with seven, eight year olds. Yeah, mm, what's up, hi, Chris? Kids, Chris, don't you? You probably have kids ranging from all ages, isn't that? The uh, situation? I, I have 14 to four, so I've still got one, but it's forward facing. Uh, it only takes up one of the captains in the Suburban and then everybody else can fit. You have the opposite problem that I have and your kid is starting to drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So real fast story about him. Um, he went with my parents today to just have lunch. Hold on though. I'll be right there. Um, <laughs> the smallest wants in. <laughs> Oh man. Today was my kid's second day of daycare. So I'm I'm also on the very opposite end of the spectrum here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. My favorite part was I just turned around and be like, what, do, what am I doing right now? I'm podcasting. I told you I'll do this. I'll do it in a little bit. Like, you know this. We do this every week. <laughs> <laughs> well, normally she's in bed. <laughs> oh, no, true. True, true, true. Um anyway, my my oldest went with my parents. Actually, all the kids went with my parents earlier today for lunch because it's their last day before they all go back to school tomorrow. Um, and he rode with my dad and he was like, because he and I have been spending a lot of time in the car, getting used to driving the Suburban in traffic. And he's like, Dad, I got to tell you the story. I was riding with my grandpa today and he, it was a red light and there were brake lights on all the cars in front. He was still accelerating because that's something that I have been on him about doing. Like, there's no reason to hurry up and get to a stopping point. Like, let's just coast up to it. Like, mm -hmm. no one's going to be mad. And it made me laugh so hard because that is what my dad hammered into my head when I was that age. And here is my dad doing the thing in front of my teenager that he yelled at me about that I've been yelling yep. at him about it. It wrecked me for probably three or four minutes of just pure <laughs> laughter. And I was like, did you tell him about that? And he was like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Cause he, he's worried about the retribution when he finally drives with my dad. He doesn't want my dad to just wreck him on that. So luckily dad didn't listen to the podcast. So it won't be that big. Of a deal. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, complete all, derailment ultimately uh, <laughs> or i can't imagine the concept of uh, it's so far in the in in the uh, rasa how old is your how old, kid kids she is six and a half months yeah six he's behind you <laughs> yes so doug six i'm gonna give you the months. i'm gonna give you the advice that i figured out because in this day and age they don't look at what the driver's doing because they're always looking at something else a tablet a phone a dvd player right. something you need to sit there with them before you even move the vehicle and talk through all the controls, talk through what everything does. Cause they, when I was a kid, that's all we were able to do was watch what mom and dad were doing while you're driving or stare out the window. Do you wonder if 16 years from now, these discussions will be as relevant as we think they're like in, in, will our children be using vehicles that like to the extent that we, that we think about it now, are even going to allow them to make the kind of mistakes that we could have made when we were a kid. Yes. I think it depends a lot on where you are in the country. Yeah, it depends a lot on where you are in the country, but I'm also just curious about how far technology is going to advance in the next, you know, 15 years. Mm -hmm. There's a long way to go. The weather is going to be a factor. There's no question about that. But I there's do. like yep. It'll be it'll be It'll be interesting. Like if, like when I got my license, I bought a 10 year old car for six grand. And so you figure the cars our children will be driving, yours and mine haven't been built yet. Uh, yeah, theoretically. I mean, unless, they, unless they're enthusiasts and they get something cool and yeah. old, just to get something cool and old. Fools but in that like case, us. probably not as worried about their like lack of attention or whatever. If they're like into mm -hmm. it, they're probably gonna be fairly okay drivers. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but I, I think about this a lot. Like my new, I, I just got a new car, the new daily driver car. And it like does all this steering and lane changing and all this stuff. And like, mm. it's only going to get better from here. And it seems to be getting better very quickly as I'm sure you realize in driving all these press cars. Oh yeah. Two iterations of super cruise right. are one to two is like right. not even in the same ballpark. Yeah, totally. That is, that's an interesting thought. Um, and I think one of the big takeaways is that we're so hyper focused on now and what we can do now, you know. And like I, I watched a video on Reddit today where a Tesla running FSD went barreling into the back of a car in the snow because it didn't realize that there were flashing lights and it couldn't stop in the snow. Um, but FSD yeah, the prospect is, yeah. of like what FSD are, is like, such kids. obvious yeah that stuff is so bs but like <laughs> on the freeway now most of these systems and it's funny because tesla people think that autopilot is the only system that can do this but like pretty much every car now can steer accelerate brake and lane change with mm -hmm. almost no input <laughs> like really easily that's like become if your car doesn't have it it's like kind of unusual as a new car and if it doesn't today then in three years it will like they all mm -hmm. will. Yep. um and so, you know, you got to kind of wonder where else is this going to go in the next few years? I don't think that the concept of like self-driving is realistic in the next even 20 years, but I think some of the stuff that we are like nervous about, like low speed act stuff that I was nervous about and that I did when I was a kid, you got to wonder if like, is that going to be solved for to an extent in well, like my worst moment was looking to the side as I was approaching cars stopped and not realize it until it was too late. Same. Auto auto braking is mm -hmm. everywhere. Like the suburban does it. I hate it, but it does it. Um, I hate it because <laughs> I'm paying attention Chris, and I'm weird. like, this car will move out of the way. I'm good suburban. And the suburban's like, no, 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 you have to stop. I'm like, okay, I like that you're doing that, but like, stop doing it for me. Do it for my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah. But like, yeah, it is everywhere. And the, I agree. I had a similar incident when I was in college where I was looking to the side, not paying attention. Car stopped in front of me, swerved out of the way, ran over a curb, damaged the car. That problem is more or less going to be solved, especially. It's pretty much a, gone. Yeah. Um, and even if you, it's not auto braking, like the lights flash and the noise yeah. sounds like instantly look. Oh, yeah. 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 The suburban seats vibrate. Right. Oh, when man. any, when anything, it's the cross traffic at alert. It's the, you're too close while you're parking. Like, you and hilariously terrifying because all GM vehicles with that system do it is when you have like 9,000 pounds that you're pulling and it does the seat vibrating. You're like, Oh my God, I, this is, it. this is the, what end. is dying I'm in the killing back right everybody now. right now. <laughs> yeah. It's, it is disconcerting at best. Yeah. yeah. I, I think, is it a, Toyota, who has the system where it basically was not going to allow the vehicle to run into anything. Um, we're I, not that far from that. Like, we're not that far from Yeah, that. and I think they called it the Guardian. Does that sound right? Guardian system? Guardian of the like? Galaxy, yes. You know, no. the problem that I have more and more that I realize is that these systems can't distinguish, like, foliage in a parking lot. So, like, I'll be backing yes. up and I'll be like, <laughs> Stop, stop. You're about to, right. and it's like, that's a plant, and I'm all set. I'm going to be just fine. I'm going to continue cruising forward, actually. Mm. Like, they can probably solve that too. That if they can, if they can make the car lane change and steer on the freeway, they can probably figure that one out. So, well, that, dare I that ask was what... Ross's complaint about the was it the Nissan Pathfinder and the Frontier? Like, it didn't, it didn't understand that you were towing. And so oh, it kept no, being it was, like, oh, no, you're going to hit something. Yeah. Like, it's it was the, the fucking trailer. The trailer like, that I attached to my vehicle three yeah, hours dude, ago. The, I know it's there. I The first Pathfinder that I tested, I had a, I, I would back up about three feet and it would auto brake. And then I'd back up about three feet and it would auto brake. It was just a horrible time. There's a very, very funny video of it floating around that I. Yeah.